Hey guys, it's your girl Jax. Welcome back to Jax Sanchez TV, or for those who are new, welcome. And so I've created this really glowy, super simple, kind of fun look. Um, this is in collaboration with Ulla Henriksen because I love their brand so much and I'm just thrilled to be working with them. So yeah, if you want to learn how to achieve this look, then keep on watching. Hey guys, we're starting off with a completely bare face. I just look like the living dead right now and I need to put some skin life back into it. So starting off with Banana Bright Eye Cream. This is my all-time favorite eye cream. I'm just using my ring finger to apply that on, just patting that on my under eye because you want to be very gentle with this um, area of your face. And once that's in place done, whatever's left on your finger, I'm going to apply that to the upper part of my eyes. You don't want to forget about those lids. And now I just want to take a moment to give some love to my favorite moisturizer at the moment. Um, you can see I've already hit the bottom, which I'm super sad about. Um, but thank God I've got restocks of this because I cannot live without this gel cream. This is the Ulla Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. It is so lightweight, so hydrating. It I really feel like it's really up to my skin level game, my skin game level, if that kind of makes sense. And you want to make sure that you do prep your skin properly before you, you know, put on any base products. I find that this gel cream is the perfect um, moisturizer to begin your skin prep with. It is very lightweight, super hydrating, and I do find that after I apply this, my skin does look a bit more supple. It, you know, my fine lines have, you know, are no longer as visible as they were prior to applying this. And yeah, just using my fingers just to rub that in, and yeah, I'm just absolutely loving it. Now going in with Ulla Henriksen's Banana Bright Face Primer. Um, this is a new launch by Ulla Henriksen. If you guys haven't checked out my previous video, I speak all about this product. You guys should go check that out. It's a very in-depth um, video about how much I love this and how good it is for your skin. If you can kind of see, it just gives you the most beautiful sheen. And I just love placing this on the high points of my face. Um, this will really help the foundation to look I don't know, very dewy, very radiant. And, um, and yeah, I just love it. It's just amazing. And because all of these products are super lightweight and not greasy, not heavy at all, um, it just gives me the most perfect skin right before I apply my makeup. Great skin equals great makeup. For foundation, I'm using the MAC Beauty Shameless Foundation. I wanted to go with a base product that wasn't so heavy. I'm having a great skin day. My skin is fully prepped, so I don't think it needs such a heavy foundation. And definitely give this foundation a shake. It needs a really good shake before you apply it. And just using this Shopo, pretty good Shopo brush just to stipple that on. Um, I used a brush because I just love the way that a brush applies makeup, especially when I'm having a really good skin day. And because of all that prep, I can get away with less product. Um, so yeah, just adding another pump for the other half of my face, covering any blemishes. This just gives me a really beautiful canvas. And without any additional product to that brush, I'm just going to bring this down my neck. Now take this Tarte um, Beauty Sponge. It is damp. I'm just going to press this all over my face. This is going to take away, you know, any excess foundation. It's going to really give me a beautiful, flawless face. So I'll be using two concealers for this look. I know it is a minimalist kind of makeup, but I really find that these two concealers, you know, are really needed for, for me in my case. I do have dark circles. And using that first concealer, which is in the shade Biscuit, um, that really just corrects any darkness under my eyes. And then the other concealer that I've used, which is in the shade Custard, that will help brighten my under eyes. And by using my ring finger, um, because of the warmth of my finger, it's going to really press that into the skin and it won't look like such a heavy concealer because of the way that I've applied it. And then taking Fenty Beauty's Banana Pro Filter Loose Powder, I'm just going to lightly set my under eyes using this Show Pro brush. I'll leave a link of all the products that I've used in the description bar below. But yeah, just pressing that right under my eyes and a little bit on my eyelids. 
And now to bronze my face, I'm going in with Fenty Beauty Sunstock in the shade Private Island. This is my first time using it. Girl, oh my goodness, sis, it is so amazing. I This is the perfect shade for me. I, I find it so difficult to find a really nice bronzer, and I am loving it. And what I really love is that I can really dip my brush into it, and it's not that pigmented, so that means um, it won't leave like any like really muddy spots on my face, um, even though I'm going very hand heavy-handed. And now going in with this really fluffy eye shadow brush by Shofo and placing a bit of that bronzer in my crease. I just find that this really ties the look. It completes it. It almost gives like a monochromatic kind of feel. And then going in with this pencil brush and just smudging a little bit of that bronzer on my lower lash line. And now grabbing Fenty Beauty's Kilowatt in Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey and just pushing, 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 wow, pushing this all over my cheek. This is going to give a beautiful glow. It's not so much a highlight, it's more like a really healthy kind of bronzy glow. And just adding a little bit of that Mo Honey, pretty sure it's Mo Honey, on my eyelids as well just to bring some lightness. Adding a little bit of this really beautiful baby pink blush by Dose of Colors on the apples of my cheeks. And to brighten up the eyes, I'm going in with Rimmel Scandalize Brow and Liner Kajal. I don't know if I'm saying that right, in Hypnotic Gold. It's such a beautiful metallic eyeliner. And now lining the lips with Dose of Colors Nitty Gritty Lip Liner. I'm just going to line my natural lip shape and I'm going to fill in the sides of the lips, keeping the middle bare. And to finish off the lips, I'm going in with Bi Beauty Salted Caramel French Press Lip Gloss. And this is the finished look. It was so easy, literally, and just so glowy, and my skin looks amazing. Thank you so much for watching, and shout out to Ulla Henriksen for partnering with me. You know, it's so amazing how, like, you can love a brand so much, and they want to work with you. So, yeah, I'm just thrilled about it. So, yeah, um, thanks again, and hopefully see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> so, thanks for watching again, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. An itchy nose. Ha <laughs> ha Don't scratch. Your whole face will come off.